Hey guys, it's Brian, and today we're going to do the unboxing of the April Champions Club box. So this is box number two. Like I said last time, I'm not a big guy, big fan of these. Uh, I am a big guy, but I'm not a big fan of uh, mystery boxes. But last month was okay. I uh, got 30 bucks worth of lures. We'll see what we get this uh, month. Uh, but before we go into anything, uh, I wanted to clear up something that happened after we got the box. And it, from the email that I got, it's already going to happen again this month. So last month, after we got the box, and I want to say it was the Friday of Heavy Hitters, uh, DC had a Zoom call with people who had the box. Um, so he had an hour Zoom call, kind of, you know, I, because I didn't do it, um, it was on a Friday at 5.30. I think me and wife and kid were out eating, so we didn't, I didn't get a chance to do it. But I assumed that it was question and answer to him talking about how he used active target and a jerk bait to catch fish. Um, just because that's how he won Red Crest for the majority of it. Um, but it did say that they gave away a bunch of prizes during it. So that's that's pretty awesome if you're you know if you're able to get one of these get into that apparently they give a lot of prizes away so that's pretty cool <clears throat> so let's get into unboxing this let me grab a pair of scissors i got right here open it up right quick and let's see what we got oh great that's a bunch of crap <laughs> that's not what's in there but i like don't, MLF, don't put this in here. It just makes a mess. It's just, it just makes a mess. But, so this is what we got here, you guys. Um, let's see, that's what we got. Move it around, because we got some things in here. Um, we're gonna go over them, look at them. So, let's start, uh, let's start with the soft plastics, why not? So we got a pack of Guggen, uh, what is this? Kraken Crawls and Green Pumpkin. And if I'm not mistaken, these are kind of like Rage Crawls. I think I've had a pack of these. And I mean, I think I got a pack or had a pack somewhere. Because I, I like throwing Rage Crawls as a trailer. Woo! That got some smell to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, it, it's a, you know, it's a Rage Crawl look. Make sure you get a good look at it. So, it's a Rage Crawl look bait. Um... What is this? Pure passion sniff. Slaunch sauce, man. I'll tell you what, that slaunch sauce got some smell to it. Um, but crack and crawl, green pumpkin. I mean, heck, you can't go wrong with green pumpkin. But yeah, I like to use these as, crawl, as trailers on jigs. Um, well, rage crawl. So I'll give these tries as, try as, uh, as a trailer on my jigs. Um, I, like I said, I got a pack of these. I don't think I've ever used them. Heck, they might have ended up with my nephew because he's a big fan of Guggen. So, uh, so there you go. Guggen Squad, that's the first thing. So, Kraken Crawls. Uh, next, we got some, oh, these are Guggen Saucy Swimmers 3.8. Color oh, don't look that bad. What's this color? Magic Shad. Uh, magic Shad. Let's see what Magic Shad looks like. Cause I don't. Oh. So let's see. That's some blue flake. Oh, this is a lot like one of my favorites. So y'all can get that blue flake. This is a lot like the smallmouth Magic that I like on uh, my Kitex. So definitely we'll give this a try. Um, I'm a big fan of the Kitek uh, smallmouth magic color. It's pretty awesome. Catch a lot of fish on it, not just smallmouth. But so we got some 3.8 inch Guggen Saucy Swimmers in the Magic Shad. Uh, let's go. We got a Berkeley Warhog one half, and the color is Purdy Shad. 
pretty shad. This looks like a like a bleached, uh, sun bleached chartreuse sexy shad, maybe. Um, not a bad look. Little lipless pink bait for you guys. It's pretty awesome. Uh, next up is a Yozuri 3DB Jerkbait 110 SP. So sus suspending Jerkbait 110, Cobb approved. I tell you what, Cobb's the man. I'm a T-Mark guy, big fan of Brandon's. Yep, so this color is Gizzard Shad. Let's, let's get a look at it. Gizzard Shad, because you know they, down here on Gunnersville, they be eating on the, on the Gizzard Shad. Uh, so we got a little green back, white, big old dot. Oh, oh. Uh oh, does this have a wave motion belly? Sounds pretty good. I'm not a big jerk, jerk baker, jerk, jerk. I'm not a big jerk baiter. Um, I'm married, but no, no, no. I'm not a big jerk baiter. Um, never, I've caught some fish on it, just never been a big one. I need to get better at it. It's like one of my, one of my, weaknesses in fishing so looks pretty good i'll give it a try especially those guys have been catching them on like using forward facing sonar and like if you seen my last video i've got active target now so i need to see if i can use the old jerk bait to catch them so that looks pretty cool again cobble too i was the man he's been catching them out at lake fork yesterday so oh next up now i've got some of these and they're awesome make sure these yep yeah, they're the same size so these are two awesome baits uh team arc i'm on team arc's pro staff uh on arc rods pro staff fish love the rods fish with the rods um the baits are pretty awesome top waters are awesome these are awesome so we've got two CT35s, CT35s, however you want to say them. But basically they are small square bill crankbaits. They dive from three to five foot. We get a red crawl. And this one looks like, and I will make for sure, yes, blueback herring. Now, these are awesome baits. And just because I had a tournament this weekend and I have yet to clean up behind you guys like the boat's a mess well it's not really a mess it's just i got boxes um i got rods laying out and boxes stacked up but let me get a hold of this box <laughs> um so this is my box my crank uh square bell crank big box really um let me see if i can find no, there's red crawl. That way I don't have to open this up. It's pretty awesome that I actually had. And just so you don't think that I did this on purpose. Like I said, I got a mess. It's just, I ain't put it up yet. But here's the red crawl. You can't really, I don't think you, I don't know if you can tell, but you've got some red flake in the black line on top. So this is red crawl. Um, one thing about these being a small bait, these are actually three eighths of an ounce, so they can actually cast pretty well. And also we have a, we, uh, there is a weight transfer system in it. You have a, I think, yes. So that's the red crawl. Look at it right quick. Let's get a pretty look at it. This is one that I, hasn't been caught anything on yet. I got another one that's all chewed up. And I, I got a couple of them that are all chewed up. This is one of my favorite colors. Oh, this is one of my favorite colors. It's um, Gizzard, Mystic Gizzard. Yeah, that gets chomped on Gunnersville and we were, I can promise you that. But this, this one right here is the um, blueback herring color. And if you can kind of see, I'm trying to look to see if you can see. But right here, you can kind of see the, the balls 
the two ball bearings and there's a magnet right here. And when you cast and you're on your back cast, you'll hear, see if I can get it to do it. You hear that click. And when those two balls separate and go to the back. So when you cast, even for this to be a small lure and B3 eighths, you can cast this pretty well because that weight transfer system will help you fling it out there. And then when you start to um, reel, six to the front and then it gets down there. So it's pretty awesome. Can't do it now. There you go. Click. And I'll tell you when you cast, <laughs> a lot of times I think I hit something on my back cast and it freaks me out until I remember the <laughs> about this um, weight transfer system. Cause it's like tick and you're like, you're looking back to see if you hit anything. So you, you, I'm throwing backwards and it's like click and I make the cast. And I'm like, I'm always looking behind me, but that's pretty cool. Again, this is the blue back herring. It's kind of translucent. Uh, there's a little pink line, blue, uh, blue and then clear. It's translucent, blue, white with a pink line, but that's it. They, I'm telling you, these, these are pretty good baits. They, I've caught a bunch of fish on them, uh, certain colors of them, but those are the ones that I've thrown. Uh, like I said, that gizzard, Mystic Gizzard is the bomb out here on the Tennessee River. Um, so that's the baits that we got with it, guys. Um, I would say easily, because I know these are like six bucks a piece. I'm sure this is probably five to six bucks a piece. That's probably six, five. Two lures from Guggen, I'm sure those are five a piece. So we got $30 worth of baits, um, easy, which is pretty awesome. And what I'm, you know, this just came to my mind. Um, my uh, my handle on Instagram is Brian Wildman Fishing, and I've got these two, and I've got the popper from last month. I'm gonna give them away. I've got plenty of these guys. Put these in somebody's hand that needs them. Needs to find out how awesome arc baits are. So go hit me up on uh, Brian Wildman Fishing at Brian Wildman Fishing. Um, I'm gonna leave it up for about probably a week or so, and. We're gonna do a giveaway. So these and the popper, and I don't have a, the popper with me, but these and the popper. It was a bone colored popper. We're gonna give them away. So that's the that's the bait, guys. Uh, let's see what else is in the box. As always, we got or like last time, as always, uh, we got a tackle warehouse sticker. We have a MLF sticker. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have a deep dive uh, score tracker insider with Justin Lucas. Justin Lucas is awesome. Um, yep, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Oh, Justin, he be up in my stuff and he knows it. Catch him up there. Uh, so our monthly, <laughs> our monthly discount guys uh so we got a discount code for 50 percent off a ducket reel um ten dollars off a g-force conservation cooling system gen 2 those are awesome i use one they're pretty good uh twenty dollars or twenty percent off a pair of wiley x's i used to wear wiley x's uh they were awesome i just uh ended up wearing uh oakley's kvd oakley's got me wearing oakley's and some amphibias now. Uh, and then $10 or 20% off a day trip lunch box from Yeti. So that's our discounts for the month. Let's see what else we got. Ooh. Do you want to appear in the next General Tire commercial? There's a little, one of those little boxes back here to scan to enter. Maybe I can get my ugly mug on in a commercial. That'd be pretty cool. So that's that. And then a, like last week or last month with uh, DC, we have a lot. We have a picture of lot. And no, it's not. It's just a fake signature. God, come on, MLF. Make it a real signature. But guys, that's, 
that's the box for the month. Um, again, make sure you go hit me up on Instagram and I'm gonna give these, these, uh, these team arc baits away, three of them. I'm gonna give them away. I'll send them to you, I'll mail them to you. But that's, that's the box for this month, guys. Tell me what you think below. I think this is actually not a bad box. Um, I see one thing that I might not use. It's a cool color, it'll go, it, it'll go in the box, but I don't know how much I'll use it this year because the rattle trap bite's about over here on Gunnersville, so. But I'll put it in the box. But got some cool, cool lures. Again, you guys are gonna get these. Um, I'll give the Guggen baits a try and the and the Yozuri jerk bait. So I don't think it's a bad box. I'll go check out some of these other things. Um, pretty cool box all together. We'll give her a, we'll give her another month. See what happens next month. But that's it. If you haven't already, go down and hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the box. Leave a like if you like the video. And until next guy, next time, guys, stay safe, tight lines, and we'll see you on the water.